Hello my curious friends, I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that most of you have heard of Honey Boo Boo and Mama June at least once in your life, or at least you would have seen them on television or online. The Shannon family is known from a reality TV show as well as many controversies, which I will be touching upon in a moment. June had faced many problems in her life and her family feared the worst. How did Mama June rekindling a relationship with her ex cause so many problems? Why did the family have to stage an intervention for her? Is there any hope that her situation will improve soon? And what important milestone is she most proud of achieving? Stay with me to find out about this family and their controversies, but before we carry on, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. The family first came to our television screens back in 2011, when Mama June and her then 5-year-old daughter Elena, more commonly known as Honey Boo Boo, appeared on the TLC show Toddlers and Tierras. The girl's victories on the children's beauty pageant show, plus her outgoing personality, meant that the two regularly appeared on the program and their success with the audience allowed them to have their own reality series, Here Comes Honey Boo Boo, which featured the girl's siblings as well as other extended family members and Mama June. From not to hot. Let us tell you more about the matriarch of the family, June Shannon. When she was only 14, she became pregnant with her first daughter, Anna, which forced her to drop out of high school. And as an adult, she struggled with being morbidly obese and weighed 460 pounds. And this caused her to undergo bariatric surgery to have a part of her stomach removed as part of another procedure. And in 2016, she had reportedly lost more than 300 pounds thanks to the help of doctors, as well as dieting and a personal trainer, Kenya Crooks. And to further improve her appearances, she reportedly spent $75,000 on cosmetic surgery. The entire weight loss journey was basis for her reality show Mama June, From Not to Hot. However, the future of that show is unknown due to the fact that both June and her partner Gino Doak have been arrested, but more about that in a moment, so stay with me. One of the biggest controversies that surrounded Mama June were the men who pursued relationships with her. Two of them would later be arrested for intimate relations or intentions to do so with a minor. The first one to be convicted was the father of her two daughters, Jessica and Lauren, Michael Anthony Ford. He was found guilty of trying to exploit actions of an intimate nature with a minor female online. She had also briefly dated Mark Daniels, who was convicted of abusing Anna. This led to the mother and the daughter having a strained relationship as June defended her partner in regards to the accusations and also reportedly began seeing him again in 2014. When appearing on Dr. Phil to speak on this issue, she once again took to McDaniel's side saying that he may have been rehabilitated and not a danger to his children and that she was full of contradictions, as though one minute she was trying to say that she would be there for her daughter, and then another saying that Anna has lied about things in the past. I don't know about you guys, but for me, this is a lot to take in, and we're only at the beginning, cause there's plenty more to come. The whole controversy with her ex even led to the cancellation of the show, so here comes Honey Boo Boo. I've already talked about the main reason for the strained mother-daughter relationship, but there is more. Anna alleged that June had stolen thousands of thousands from her trust fund, which left her with less than $18 in her savings. Her oldest daughter involved lawyers in trying to gain access to her funds, which were managed by June and in the meantime, she also took to social media in an effort to make some quick cash. Taking advantage of Ebola pandemic sweep in the US at the time, Anna tried her luck in being a saleswoman by selling snake oil that reportedly prevented the virus. Yeah, she signed up with a company called Young Living Essential Oils and had the link to promoting the product online on her Facebook page. The company had been warned by the FDA to stop making claims that their oils prevented the disease, but they only replied that they are multi-purpose and that they can also help prevent cancer. I feel like this is just going to be a controversy after a controversy. And it's not the first time that June has come under fire for something in relation to her daughters. I mean, back in the heydays of toddlers and tiaras, the mother received some backlash after she revealed that she was giving her daughter Elena some go-go juice. Now, for sure, it may sound innocent, but in reality, as it was later revealed, the beverage that the five-year-old would drink during her pageants was a mixture of Red Bull and Mountain Dew. 
Experts even estimated that one serving of this tincture contained as much caffeine as it could be found in two cups of coffee, and this outraged most of the American Academy of Pediatrics and recommends that children under the age of 12 do not consume caffeine at all. So in her defense, Mama June said that there are worse things that she could give her daughter, such things as alcohol, and that Elena only drinks it during pageants. So what do you guys think about this? As I've mentioned before, the popularity of Elena on Toddlers and Tierras allowed the family to have their own reality show called Here Comes Honey Boo Boo, but unfortunately due to her mother's controversy with regards to her ex, after five seasons, TLC axed the show. However, the family was given another chance in the world of television after the head of the family got her own show, Mama June from Not To Hot follows her journey of weight loss in a bid to slim down so that she could start a new life, with a new body and, as she hoped, a new love. The last comes after she left her ex Mike Thompson, Elena's father who, as the filming of the new show went on, had remarried. As the show started, there are many issues between June and Thompson's new lady Jennifer, and most of these issues involved Elena, and in one of the show's episodes, the mother decides to treat herself to an apple pie, and that's when her youngest daughter brings up her diet, to which she replies that she has been working hard on achieving her goal of losing weight and deserves a little cheat day. The girl argues that the dessert is hers, and in her reply to the question where she got it from, is what truly set off her mother. Honey Boo Boo replied that she went on a dinner date with her dad and his fiance, and that she let her do whatever the girl wanted and that she was like her little daughter, as well as telling her that just because her mother was on a diet doesn't mean that she has to be. The anger June who ended up throwing the pie in the trash? Uh, yeah. Another argument involved Jennifer buying Elena some donuts, which didn't sit well with June either, so they ended arguing over that with Mama telling her that she will never be anything to the little girl. And it just seems that the dramas that have always surrounded June have stayed with her. As you have noticed, there have been moments in her life where things haven't been going right. I mean, the family may have gained popularity, which obviously brought in money, but as we all know, in the entertainment industry, that doesn't necessarily mean happiness for the rest of your life. In March of last year, June and her boyfriend Gino Doak were arrested at an Alabama petrol station for possession of illegal substances. The police were first called to the scene to a report of domestic incident between the two. And then she was detained for the possession of controlled substances while Doe got similar charges, as well as ones in regards to domestic violence and harassment. After the incident, a special episode of the reality show was aired titled Mama June from Not To Hot The Road To Intervention, and in the show, her daughters confront their mother, telling her to get help that she needs otherwise they will end up in jail or worse. And in one of the scenes, Honey Boo Boo breaks down as she tells her mother that she wants to move back home, and the girl at the time had to live with her sister Lauren, who had custody of her. And as the show is filmed in advanced, it was reported that the family had managed to convince their mother to check into a rehab facility just two days prior to her arrest, though allegedly after 12 hours she checked herself out. And in the clip, you can see how her problems are affecting her. The teeth that she had done not long before these events transpired and started to fall apart and she's also seen collapsing on camera. I mean, her daughters and sister were terrified at how her health has been deteriorating. And in an interview that Lauren gave for WeTV, she said that in reality the person who called the police at the petrol station was her mother as she must have been really worried due to an argument the two were having. Her daughter and sister also claimed that it would be best if she were to spend more time away from Gino, just like the judge ordered, though it seems that June had other ideas and since the arrest had been spending more and more time with him. All this drama seems to be having negative effects on the whole family, especially now 14-year-old Elena. In one of the clips from the new season, Lauren revealed that her mother's manager contacted her to let her know that once again she had skipped rehab, which just adds more frustration to the already exhausted single mother. Not only does she have her own toddler to look after, but she also has custody of her younger sister Elena. And in a preview of the episode, the younger girl says that she wishes her mother could just go back to rehab and get better so that she could come back home to the family so that she could help them out. And Honey Boo Boo also added that she wishes that she could feel like a normal teenager again without the constant worries of her mother's well-being. In the new season of the show titled Family Crisis, things got even more heated. In one of the preview clips from the trailer, Mama June is seen breaking down and saying nobody knows what the real story is. More pressure is put onto her as most of her family members tell her to leave Gino and get help. 
Her own sister, Dodo, told her to get her butt back home, get healthy, get sober, and get back to her kids and grandkids. And she also assured her that the family loves her very much and wants her back. The season of the show ended on a positive note by announcing that June and her partner Gino have successfully completed 30 days of rehab. As the couple and the crew and the show made the journey to South Florida to the facility, the mother of four opened up about just how hard getting better was for them. She talked about how she bailed on the first outpatient treatment and she promised her daughter Lauren that she would attend and how she ended up living out of her truck with her partner. He himself opened up about how they couldn't afford to pay for hotel rooms as in the past six months they had spent almost $150,000 to fuel their problems with illegal substances. The pair also discussed how it was also partially due to the people that they spent their time with, who according to them were providers. Though it seems that finally things are looking up for the reality star. A few days ago she she announced on her Instagram account that she and her partner had celebrated six months of sobriety. The star's manager, Gina, celebrated the milestone by gifting her a pink bedazzled coin as a token of achievement. She added how it was the thing that she was most proud of and that it's one of the most amazing things in her life. In what appeared to be a sponsored mention, she also showed off a box of cookies that was sent to her. The treats were covered with the words sober life as well as images of Mama June from her Marilyn Monroe photo shoot. She was more than happy with the gift because, as she said, she loves sweets and even added, I'm a fat kid, they probably won't make it through the day. So my curious people, what are your thoughts about this? In your opinion, will June's life choices one day negatively impact her daughters, especially the youngest? Was the family right to think that Gina was a bad influence on Mama? And do you guys think that this could finally be the end of her troubles? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you tomorrow.